बैलेंस द केमिकल इक्वेशन बै आक्सीडेशन नंबर मेथड कापर आक्सइड प्लस अमोनिया इज गिव कापर प्लस नईट्रोजन प्लस वाटर फिगर द रेड्यूसिंग अंड आक्सीडिंग एजेंट्स बै द रूल आफ् असैनिंग आक्सीडेशन नंबर In this equation, nitrogen has charge of minus three, and it's changing into zero. So nitrogen is being oxidized. The copper has charge of plus two, and it's changing into zero. So copper is being reduced. In the oxidation state, the oxidation number is increased by plus three. In the reduction state, the oxidation number is decreased by minus two. Now you can make the increased oxidation number is equivalent to the decreased oxidation number. To do this, you can multiply the increased oxidation number by a coefficient of two, and you can multiply the decreased oxidation number by a coefficient of three. Now you can write the equation as three CuO plus two NH3 is gives us Cu plus N2 plus H2O. Now you can balance the number of atoms in this equation. In the reactant side, there are three copper atoms, three oxygen atoms, two nitrogen atoms, and six hydrogen atoms present. And the products side, there are one copper atom, one oxygen atom, two nitrogen atoms, and two hydrogen atoms present. The number of atoms are not balanced on both sides. To balance the chemical equation, we need to make use of coefficients. A coefficient is a number that we place in front of a chemical formula. In this equation, we need to balance the copper atoms first. To do this. We need to put a coefficient of three in front of Cu. The copper atoms are balanced. Now we need to balance the hydrogen and oxygen atoms. To do this, we need to put a coefficient of three in front of H2O. The equation is now balanced. There are three copper atoms, three oxygen atoms, two nitrogen atoms, and six hydrogen atoms on both sides. If you like this video please subscribe my channel and press on the bell icon